Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see one more activity which we can use in UiPath. So if you see this window right now, I don't have a main window. So I'm creating a new project. I'm going to process and I'm creating a new project as blank process seven and I click on create. So once I click on create, it will give me a new workspace with a main window and here you will see that there's an activity called flowchart at the left hand side. So basically I'm trying to create a flowchart and there I can give some sequence of activities. So let me drag here and if I double click on this, it will show me the flowchart window. Okay. And in this flowchart window, what I want to do, I want to create three message box. So first I will drag the first message box. Okay. And what I want that as soon as we click on the first message box, it takes some decision. So decision means it can be either true or it can be false. Okay, so it's a flow decision for which I need to give a condition here. And if it is true, it is going to this branch. And if it is false, it is going to this branch. So I'm, I am just dragging one more message box when something is true. Okay, you can see there's a small box given here. I can just drag it like this. And then there is a another message box which is for false. Okay. So let me see one second. Yeah. So if this condition is true, this message box will appear. If this condition is false, this message box will appear. So what I will do here, I can just give a caption here as press. Okay. And similar thing in the text also. Press. Okay. And here in this condition, I can give some condition like true or false. So I'm get, giving a true here and giving a static condition here. Okay. So I assume this it's always true. Okay. I will tell you how to variable, how to give a variable here. But right now, let's understand that I can give some static condition here. And if it is true, it is going to this box. So what I want, I want it to, to just show me true here. Okay. Okay, and if it goes to this box, then it should show false. Okay, and again, here also, text is false. Okay, so that's it. Let's run this program. So let me minimize this. It says press. If I'm pressing OK, it says true. Okay. In case if I go to this uh, decision and if I make it as one equal to zero, which I know is false. And if I go here, click on start button, it says press. If I press it, it says false. Okay. So don't worry about this uh, one equal to zero or one plus one because later on we can give some variable here. Okay. So that we can fetch the values on runtime. But right now, just understand that there is a flow chart which we have created. And in that, we have created a flow decision. And on the basis of that, I can take some decisions. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching.